A fungus spreading across the country causing a debilitating and deadly lung infection called histoplasmosis. It was once thought to only impact areas around the Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. But it's a sneaky fungus that can go undiagnosed for years. Now new research shows it's popping up in every single state, including Texas. Ursula Perry with what it is, how it's treated, and most importantly, how to get a diagnosis. It was everything I, it was more than I thought it was gonna be. For 25 years, John Meyer lived and breathed firefighting until something he breathed in while on the job almost destroyed him. I was at a fire and I was inside and I was pulling ceilings down. Local doctors said it was his gallbladder. Then he was told it was lung cancer. You body. always described it as like your body felt like it was crushed. Finally, a team at Washington University School of Medicine diagnosed John with histoplasmosis, a fungal infection caused by breathing in spores from fungi, often caused by bat guano. It's one of the most understudied uh, diseases in, in infections. Researchers found that the fungus histoplasma has expanded from here to here. Outdated maps leading to outdated information. Up to 90% of people are first misdiagnosed. I've seen patients misdiagnosed uh, with really everything from rheumatoid arthritis to lupus. Don was treated with an antifungal medication and an oral medication. Six years later, he says he's still only back 50% of what he was. But for Mary, just having John here is enough. Um, I am so happy and blessed that he's still here because at times we didn't think he would make it. Sudden weight loss is a key sign of this histoplasma problem. It also can affect your blood counts, your white cells, your red cells, and even your platelets. It also can affect how your heart beats. If you suspect you have this, you really do need to talk to your doctor right away. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.